Okay, I'm back at the hibiscus. I know I keep posting a lot about the hibiscus, but I'm trying to chronicalize what to do with it as the season progresses, or at least what I do with it as it does. There it is right there. There's kind of the whole thing. That's the Luna Red. Boring on the Luna Red. On Halloween, it snowed. And so it really progressed. The leaves are obviously wilted and here's a flower. That's clearly wilted too. The stems or branches, they come straight from the earth. They're still green. So I want to leave those, as I've been saying in other videos, so that the plant can suck up all the nutrients into the crown or the root ball. If you go up the stem, the stem turns kind of reddish. But it's not brown yet, except for in certain little spots where there used to be leaves. So this is where the leaf used to be attached before it fell. I just break them off because this is pretty much on its last leg anyway. Some of the stems have progressed even further, like this one. The top of it is already brown. So I'm going to just follow that stem down where it is browned up into... Ah! in my mouth. Where the brownish meets the green. It's still kind of green here, but it's fine. That's what it looks like right now. It really, it doesn't matter where you cut. You could cut lower if you wanted to, but the more you cut off of the green, the less of the nutrients will go into the base. The tip of the stem is done like completely browned, and as you go lower, it's a little more plump where the other parts like wrinkly so I'm just gonna cut into the green and leave the rest okay I should say that this is your decision as to what you want to do you can just leave it throughout the whole season you can never do this do this if you wanted to leaf blowing or you could shape it cut it into a ball if you want the positives to leaving it is that you can see where it is if it's like in an area you walk. It's safer this way. One con can be that once the new uh, stems start growing from the earth, you will have to prune if you decide to prune or deadhead or whatever. <laughs> Remove the sticks. There's a chipmunk. Uh, is that once the new little like asparagus-like stems come out of the soil, you'll have to cut the old stems and like try not to ruin those. Also if you want to you can just immediately cut them down. It just may not be as vigorous of a shrub as it potentially could be. Here's an example of a stem that's dried pretty a lot. Like if you scratch it there's no green, you break it, it's like straw. So that's not going to come back, and this is why you cut these off, because they'll never bloom again. So I'll just cut, I don't know, here. I don't like cutting it too early because I like these pink reddish stems too. They just add more color to the fall environment. It's awesome. Look at the color in this leaf. So since most of the stems are still green, I'm going to leave it for now. Probably make another video <laughs> once it's time to cut.